to Jamie down the Kiddo Queen. I hope you're having a great day. I'm so excited to get ready for dinner tonight. I'm getting home a little bit early from work today. Bad news, I got all the way to one of my favorite places, and that's Jackson Day Spa in Jackson for a scheduled massage to find out I wasn't scheduled. Oh, I was so disappointed I needed it so bad, but I decided to come on home. <laughs> rest anyway i got an hour off early from work and i've just been laying around cleaning up a little bit and getting ready for dinner hey julie how are you hey melody all right guys what are y'all doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly susan says hey amy watching from florida yay i wish i was in florida right now <laughs> um okay i did announce my winner today from uh national keto day it was dawn uh, so say congratulations to Dawn. She did reach out to me. I got her address. She'll be in her free prize. And every once in a while, I like to do free prizes. So that's just, I love to do that. <laughs> hey, Amy. Um, all right, guys. What are y'all doing for dinner tonight that's low-carb, keto-friendly? I'm fixing to show you something super yummy and delicious. I haven't made this in a long time. My daughter, every time she sees it uh, in the refrigerator, she's like, oh, I'm not eating that green stuff. I'm like, have you ever tried it? No. <laughs> Maybe she will tonight since she's trying to go keto. She's doing really, really good. This is one of my favorite, favorite things to make in casseroles. It's a pesto sauce. Does anybody like pesto? A lot of people say, no, nah, I don't think so because it's green. But they had never tried it. Oh, my gosh. It is so good. Now, if you like pesto or you've never bought any before, you do need to watch the carb counts. Uh, one is not the same. This one I absolutely love and I'm fixing to show it to you. It's from um, Sam's again. I like to go to Sam's every once in a while. This one is just a member's mark pesto. It is so good. Let me show you the carb counts. It's awesome. So most pestos have a lot of carbs because there's a lot of, of course, pine nuts and things that are made with this. But you'll see this has a fourth cup serving size and the carbs are three. There's one fiber. So essentially there are two net carbs in a fourth cup. And a fourth cup is exactly what we need for our recipe today. So it's going to be super yummy. All right. <clears throat> I'm talking so fast and tired myself out. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad, how are you? I see Joan jump on, Tammy and Angela. How are you guys doing? What are you doing for dinner tonight that's low carb or keto friendly? I've got my oven on 400. I've got a baking dish out because we're gonna melt some ooey gooey things together. It's gonna be so good. I've got a mixing bowl, and I don't think it's big enough. Let me get another one. <clears throat> few ingredients right i want to keep it super simple delicious keto but be in and out of the kitchen at fast time so i have taken some chicken tenders i cut them up in pretty small sizes you see here i've sauteed them in olive oil i could have done butter that would have been even better mm, yum. i should have done that <laughs> we've got our chicken ready and over to the side we're going to start mixing up a couple of things i've got a block of cream cheese and as we're doing this i want to help you guys look and see uh, or talk to you a little bit about carb counts. So a lot of people I do recommend go very simple keto. When I say simple, I'm talking about a meat and a side, just like you have your whole life, except the side dish is not gonna be mashed potatoes. The side dish isn't, isn't gonna be macaroni and cheese. Instead, you're gonna have that meat side dish, chicken, pork chops, fish, whatever you like, and a low carb veggie. It's easy to count your carbs because you're only having the carb and the low carb veggie. If you're making casseroles like I'm doing tonight, it really is simple if you have few ingredients and you know how to read your labels. So right now, I've got a little tick list over here of what we're using. I've got an, ounce, an eight ounce block of cream cheese. My cream cheese, it always says less than one on your label. There is no such thing. If it says less than one, there's one carb. So that block of cream cheese has eight carbs. I got that written down. We also are gonna use a half a cup of heavy cream. So I open it to find a half cup. Okay. Half cup, half cup. Nope. Oh, where's my half cup? Here's my half cup. All right, half a cup of heavy cream. Now, how many tablespoons are in a half a cup of heavy cream? Do you guys know? I Googled it earlier. I think it's five. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's actually, it's eight. Eight tablespoons in a half a cup. So eight tablespoons of heavy cream. Again, that heavy cream, a lot of times it says less than. Less than is bull crap. If it says less than one, it's one carb. So don't pretend like there's no carbs in heavy cream. There is. So I've got eight carbs in my heavy cream, eight carbs in my cream cheese. That's all I've got so far. And then we're going to do a fourth cup. Oh, goody, I used the same one. <laughs> 
We're gonna use a fourth cup of my pesto. Let me give me a spoon so I can get it out easy. So a fourth uh, cup of pesto. And a fourth cup of pesto with my pesto is only one net carb. Is it one or two? No, two net carbs. <laughs> I just showed it to you all ago. So now we've got eight carbs, eight carbs, two carbs. That's all we've got so far. And I wanna make sure I don't skimp on this. I love the pesto. Gives such a great flavor with this chicken dish. So again, you have to look at the ingredients you're using. A lot of times people will send me messages and ask how many carbs were in my dish. Well, I can tell you how many carbs are in my casserole, but that doesn't mean it's the same for your casserole. If you're using a higher carb product, then yours is gonna be higher carb in your meal. So you just kinda have to look at it. If you're making something uh, like a casserole that you can't add up easy. All right, so we're just gonna mix this up. Three ingredients, a block of cream cheese, a half a cup of heavy cream, and a fourth cup of pesto. Now, my daughter will look at this and say, are you kidding me, are you eating? Dog, are you eating baby poop? No. <laughs> I'm not eating baby poop, but it smells good already. It's going to be delicious if you guys will just give it a chance. I promise. I don't ever cook or show y'all things that are not delicious. <laughs> hey, Jean. I see Laura on here. Uh, Julie, how are you doing? Hey, Tiffany. Felicia, what are you guys doing for dinner tonight that's low-carb or keto-friendly? I see Amber jumped on, too. Hey, Shirley. Tina Stone, Micah. All right, so we're just mixing this up. Look how good it looks. We're almost done. <laughs> this is the easiest recipe. Now guess what comes next? Chicken. <laughs> we already cut up our chicken or cooked it up. I did have chicken tenders. I just cut in bite-sized pieces. I should have sauteed it in butter. That'd be even better, but I sauteed it in olive oil. We're just gonna add our chicken now to this pesto sauce. How many carbs are in chicken? Does anybody, anybody know how many carbs are in chicken? Zero. <laughs> there are zero carbs in chicken. So we just added an ingredient that has no carbs, so we're still good. We're just gonna mix this up really good. You know what, I got this big old pan. I think I'm gonna put this up and use a smaller one. Put this in my drawer here. Lord, I just saw I made a mess last night and it's all over my cabinets. I'm gonna actually put it in this pan. I don't know though, I'm trying to decide, that's a lot of cheese. Okay, I'm good, I'm gonna use this little pan. <laughs> you can use a bigger pan if you want to. Sometimes when I cook this, I double up on the recipe because I'm feeding several people, but tonight it's just four plates, that's all I'm making. So we're fixing to pour this in a greased. I don't know if I need to, but I'm going to just on the safe side. So I'm gonna grease up some olive oil spray and my little eight by eight. We're gonna pour this into my baking dish. I got my oven on 400. Yes, I know, it looks like baby food, but it's not. If you love pesto, give me some hearts. I used to not like pesto until I tried it, and I was like, wow, that's a pretty cool flavor. I love garlic. It's not baby poop. Stay with me, guys, don't hang up. <laughs> it's not baby poop. Okay, so we're just gonna uh, put this in our pan. I'm just gonna kind of spread it out so there's an even amounts of chicken. Now my husband will look at this and say, there is not enough meat. My husband is a meat eater. He's gonna say, Lord, that ain't enough for me. And I'm gonna say, yes it is, boy. You don't need to eat this whole pan. You can if you want to, but it's just because you want to, not because you're hungry for it. <laughs> All right. Now, I've got some blocked cubed mozzarella cheese. This block of cheese is another eight carbs. So now I've got eight in my cream cheese, eight in my mozzarella cheese, two in my pesto, and eight in my heavy cream. So we're almost done. We're adding up our carbs over here. And I like to just put this, push these mozzarella down all over my, my dish. So when this bakes, you got that really thick mozzarella in different parts of the dish. So super yummy. Just push it down in there. You can get your hands dirty. Now we're gonna bake this and what you can do is eat it just like this in a casserole or you can put it over zoodles, which is what I'm gonna do. You can put it over spinach. <laughs> so like saute you some spinach up and put it over spinach. You can put it over um, mashed cauliflower. <laughs> you can do so many things with this pesto dish. Now we're gonna be counting up the carbs in this. 
We're not counting up the carbs and what we're going to lay it on top of, which again, you get to determine. If you want to lay it over um, some cauliflower mash, just make sure you know how much cauliflower mash you're eating because that's going to add to your carb count. But I'm just going to show you how super simple it is. <clears throat> Man, this is going to be really good and cheesy. Now, you do not have to have this much cheese. You don't have to have cheese at all. You can just top it with a little bit of cheese on top. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. I love some good food. Y'all know I love food. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Ooh, Amanda's making Mexican zucchini casserole. I have an awesome Mexican casserole that I love. I call, I've got Mexican skillet dishes that I love. Bonnie says, we'll keep you posted on the recipes later. I will 100% post this later for you guys. Hey, Alex, how are you? Hey, Nancy and Polly, how are you guys doing today? I got off a little early because I had a scheduled massage that apparently didn't get scheduled. We thought it was scheduled, but we were having so fun, up, so much fun up there scheduling the appointment with my mom and my friend that we must have forgot to put me on their books. <laughs> so I took off early today to get a massage. It didn't happen. So I thought I'd come home and get in the hot tub, and then I got home and it was raining. I'm like, Lord and mercy, I'm just going to sit down and have me a little glass of water and get ready for dinner is what I'm going to do. All right. So look at this. Now we got a pesto pasta with all this mozzarella pushed in all different places of the dish. Now if you have this in a big 9 by 13 then you're really spreading the mozzarella out, this is going to be super yummy. Let me get my first towel to this. Now you don't have to do any more cheese. You didn't have to do that much cheese. But me and my husband, we're not scared of cheese. <laughs> and I'm going to put just a little bit on top, maybe a fourth cup of mozzarella on top. You could do this with pepper jack. That would sound really good. Again, it depends on what you're fixing this over or if you're going to eat it just like it is. This is a casserole in itself. If you want to, you could actually put some uh, cauliflower rice inside this, but my husband, y'all know, does not love cauliflower rice, so I'm going to do that too. Instead, I'm going to make some zoodles in a skillet, and then we're going to dump this on top of our zoodles just like I did last night with our meatballs. So this is ready. I'm fixing to put it in the oven real fast. I'm just going to cook it until it gets really good and bubbly, gooey, because those mozzarella blocks in there, those cubes, mo cube mozzarella is going to start to melt and be really good. Bonnie said we had the cinnamon shockles for dinner. That sounds good. Hey, Stephanie and Jenny. All right, so let me get my little notes over here. I'm not good at math, so you might have to use your calculators, but <laughs> we had two carbs in our pesto. We had eight in our cream cheese. We had eight in our heavy cream. We had eight in our um, cubed mozzarella. And we probably had about one in that fourth cup of shredded that I put on top. So that gives us a total of 26 carbs in that dish. So now we gotta think, if I've got 26 carbs in there, and you'll notice I didn't count calories, I didn't count fat, I didn't count protein, I didn't count anything except my carbs because I keep it simple and I just monitor my carbs. And I keep my carbs under 25 net carbs every single day. Now that whole dish is 26. <laughs> so let's say I didn't eat all day, which I haven't. No, I did, I did. My Aunt Frances had some chicken salad today. It was so good. But anyway, let's just say you haven't eaten all day. You've got a 25 net carb balance that you're really wanting to use and you're hungry and you sit down in front of that dish. You could eat the whole thing, but you're not going to want to. You know why? Because there's some good, healthy fats in there. And those healthy fats help fill us up. So right now we're at 27, I think I told you, net carbs or 26 net carbs. If you divide that by five, let's say you're going to split that pan by five, how many carbs you got? <laughs> if you're going to split it by six, I know you got five. If you're going to split it by eight, which would be hard in that small thing, but you could do it, you'd have 3.5. So it just depends on how many servings you want to make out of that casserole. And that's how easy it is to count your net carbs in your casserole. Now you'll see I didn't have very many ingredients. I don't like to cook hard meals. I don't like to have to calculate too many things in my head. It's too hard. I haven't eaten today except for that um, uh, chicken salad. And it had chicken, mayonnaise. Uh, it did have eggs, so there's a little bit of carbs. Um, she had some pickle relish, so there's a little bit of carbs. But I didn't count those up to get a net carb count. It was just a small portion. So I'm just going to guess and say, hey, I had four carbs for lunch. Four carbs. Okay, that's all I've had today. <laughs> so I can eat and not really be... Uh, uh, concerned with my dinner tonight, but if you don't think it through and think about what you're eating, you could overdo your carbs and not even realize it. So it's really simple. If you're cooking clean meals, a meat and a side dish, it's easy to count your carbs. If you're count cooking casseroles like I just did, just add up your carb count. So again, this recipe, guys, was a fourth cup of pesto, which I love. I'm going to show you this one because it's so good. It lasts a long time. It's in a big jar. My husband must be home. It's a Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hang on. I'll let y'all take a screenshot while they're hollering. Oh, my goodness. 
If you can hear me, it's Members Mark Pesto from Sounds. And to show you again how to read your labels, you've got a fourth cup is the serving size in this. We have three grams of total fiber or total carbs and one fiber. So you subtract that. That gives us two net carbs and a fourth cup. And that's exactly what we needed for this recipe. So this is one of my favorites. You do have to look and see what you're buying because there are a lot of pestos out there that are full of carbs. I picked up one one time, it was real cheap, it was at Kroger, and I looked at the package and it had eight carbs per serving. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I put that sucker back down and went back to Sam's. <laughs> but this recipe had a fourth cup of pesto. We mixed that with a whole block of cream cheese that's softened so we can stir it up. We added a half a cup of heavy cream, and we just stirred those three things up to make us a sauce. And then we put our chicken in it. You can use a rotisserie chicken. You can use chicken breast that you shredded up yourself. I just took some chicken tenders, cut them in small pieces, threw it in there after they were cooked. So now we've got our sauce and cheese, I mean chicken, and stirred that up. Then we added a block of cubed mozzarella cheese. And I just pushed it all throughout my casserole dish. And then we just topped it with a little mozzarella. That's it, guys. How easy is that? Now, you can eat it just like that. This is a chicken casserole, or you can lay it over a top of uh, cauliflower mashed potatoes, or you can put it on top of zoodles, which is my plan. Uh, you can put it on top of spinach. Anything you want. It's really, really good. All right, guys. Vivian's making the low-carb meatball bake. Mm, that's always good. Hey, Amanda. Okay, my dogs are going crazy because my husband's home. is taking forever. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to place this sauce. It's over here in my mixing bowl. Mm -mm. I love pesto. If you like pesto, give me some hearts. It looks like baby poop. It's so good. All right. Any questions, guys? Do you have any questions for me today? I don't know if my friend's on here, Jenny, but I did post some of her success today that she tagged me in. Jenny has done an amazing job. I've had several friends tag me in their Facebook posts here recently because they are really are proud of themselves because January 21st marked the first year of their journey in keto and they've been so successful not only from the fat loss but just the way they feel and their health changes and I'm just so proud to be a part of that so thank you Jenny for sharing with me I hope you guys will give her tons of hearts if you saw that post tons of hearts for Jenny I also have had a lot of other friends I'll be posting their successes later on throughout the month but if you have had your own success let me know I love to share I love to encourage other people. You know, keto truly has changed my life. So for me to know I'm helping somebody else, it encourages me to keep going. Because guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Some of the message I, messages I get, I'm doing this for free to help people. <laughs> and I mean, I've had nights where I went to bed and I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, people are mean. <laughs> there are so many mean people out there. Uh, but I like to be encouraged because I love to help people. So if you can encourage me to keep encouraging others, please do. That's awful to say, but seriously, I need some love sometimes just like everybody else. So share your successes. Tell me how you're doing. Let me know if I can help you in any way. And Lord and mercy, these dogs are driving me crazy. So I'm going to get off here. I hope you have an awesome night. Just send me any questions you have, guys. Love you. Bye.